in one part it's incredible especially when you kind of find your tribe and you find the same people who want to do the work that you want to do so that makes it beautiful and there's a lot of companionship there and it, it, it's very fulfilling but then there's the other side of it where it can be quite frustrating and infuriating and confusing and I think a lot of those things are to do with the intersections of like being a woman being a black woman and sometimes how that affects the interactions that I have um, as a person of colour in a theatre in a theatre sector, I suppose personally it kind of makes you an activist uh, without your own permission. I think I've always kind of made art being fully aware of the spaces that I'm in, of the audiences that um, are coming to see this and how they're going to interpret it. I saw a tweet and someone spoke about with sort of black artists in particular. We often have the first black artist too, or the only black artist too. And I think we're still in that space a little bit in terms of the work that we're seeing is that we're having lots of onlys and lots of first. And I think perhaps the urgency needs to get to a point where it becomes just kind of every day in normality to see stories from many different faces, many different voices within my community and um, from people that look like me that say lots of different things about our work and our people, not just one or two things or maybe the narratives that are most popular. And I suppose there's always that imposter syndrome of coming into a space where for a lot of instances you probably are the first black person in there. You carry a lot of weight, you carry a lot of um, expectation uh, on your shoulders when you're in those spaces. Sometimes you feel as though, you know, if you don't, if you don't really kill this opportunity, if you don't sell out this show, then you might be the last black person in this space. I wanted to do something significant and maybe that's the pressure that maybe I feel just as a person of colour in the industry feeling as though I have to, you know, being taught that I've got to work twice as hard to get half as much. What's the point of us being in the industry if we're only allowed in a few shows or to work with a few companies that specialise in working with us? I think it, it needs to be we need to be more interspersed and in, immersed and more embraced in the theatre industry. I, I don't think it's enough. What what we're doing now is just not enough. Um, <laughs> I think the industry wants to embrace people of colour. I think there's a whole renaissance at the moment going on um, where there's a lot of institutions that really want to put out work that feels diverse and exciting and is, you know, for audiences that look like the modern world that we live in as opposed to what it is now slash what it previously was before. So I think there's a lot of want to, to fulfill that and to, to honor that. Um, but on the flip side, I think sometimes that that's translated in quite reactive work. So, you know, shows are put on or decisions are made or hires are made because they really want to make sure that they're doing the right thing, but the time, the thought, that is sometimes required to make sure that's done in a way that's safe for everybody involved, in a way that, that honours people of colour, in a way that isn't triggering. Um, I, I don't think that extra step is always considered. So you end up with what can feel like a very rash reaction to essentially racism. <laughs> One thing I do know about this industry is that we love moments and we love trends. Uh, you know, the renaissance that we're having now is not the first ever time that uh, black art has been in vogue. So I would say let's wait and see. But I, I also would say it is an incredible time right now to be making art um, and to be telling um, such nuanced stories that I feel like a lot of us artists felt as though we couldn't make five or ten years ago. There is beginnings of people really, really seeking out work made by people of colour and actively saying like, oh, it's a South Asian director or a black director, I'm going to go see that. Or, hey, it's a play with um, majority or all black actors or all South Asian actors. I'm 100% going to make sure I go see that. But I also think we're shouting about our own shows far more. That mean that they're being seen more by audiences on social media, uh, being spoken about more, people are recommending those shows more. Well, we're recommending those shows more and when we shout about our work done by our community, the louder it gets heard.